um, agenda for special board meeting Tuesday, July 11th, 2023 at 12.16 p.m. Board of Supervisors Hearing Room, 1415 Melody Lane, Building G, Bisbee, Arizona, 85603. Any item on this agenda is open for discussion and possible action. We still have three members of the board present, um, and the members of the public may attend this meeting, Microsoft Teams or computer. The board may permit public comment during this discussion on any item on the agenda. And we do have one speaker that would like to speak on this agenda item. And since there is just the one agenda item, I'm going to have her come up, if that's OK, Mr. Frisbee. Can we put a motion on the table first? Um, if you would like to, we'll do that. Madam Chair, I move that we adopt Resolution 23-20 to adopt the final county budget for fiscal year 2023-2024 in the amount of $277,936,938. This amount is composed of $105,461,808 in general fund and $172,475,130 in special revenue funds and approve the funding request as set forth in the attached exhibit. Second. I have a motion and a second. And I have someone who would like to speak, Josephine May. Okay, I am Joyce, Josephine Mabe, and I reside in Sierra Vista, Arizona, and I'm here today to say I oppose this tax increase. Although it appears minimal, I think that you'll need to be re I think you need to be reminded that people are still struggling with the econ under this economy. Let me take you through the past increases. In 2012, Proposition 201 or 205, I can't remember the number, there was a tax increase for the schools. Money was supposed to generate a pay increase for our teachers and for the students. It did not. It went to the administration. In 2016, the election where the school, board, school bond passed, $29 million to renovate our schools in Sierra Vista. I joined the Oversight Committee in 2019-2020 to ensure that the money was spent on what they promised the public. As an over, Oversight Committee member, we had the privilege to oversee the building projects and the update of the IT department in our schools, etc. We were good at staying on task until COVID hit, that all of a sudden they wanted to use a school bond money to meet the needs for COVID. My point, whatever you intend for in this property tax increase all, doesn't usually go there. COVID hit in 2020 and 2021. Businesses closed, people lost jobs, and lockdowns, uh, lockdowns were mandated. Many struggled, and our government had to intervene to help people pay their bills. Not even barely entering 2023 and we get hit with a sales tax increase. I won't even go there. Now you want to add to the same people that just came out of the struggle that are barely coming out and recovering another tax increase. People are on a budget. Yes, you may propose a 2.74 increase, but you need to see the full picture that groceries have increased, gas prices have increased, and everything else has increased. So 2.74% is a big deal. I think you need to reconsider. Please go back to the drawing board and see where you can cut and where you can find money elsewhere. But I believe that this is not a time for a property increase. Remember, Cochise County consists of 24% retirees. retirees. That means they are on a fixed income. Okay. Um, so now, Mr. Frisbee, we will... The, that's all the calls of the public we had. Madam Chair, members of the board, uh, presenting you the final budget. As you can see, there have been no changes from the tentative budget to the final budget. End of year projections as uh, calculated as of last week are st still remain the same. Uh, Sixty-eight million and uh, sixty-eight million seven hundred one eight hundred forty-one dollars in general fund for HERF, 
uh, in expenses uh, for her, that would be ten million eight hundred seventy six hundred and eighteen dollars. Capital fund expenses for five hundred ninety one one hundred twenty eight dollars. The final budget summary for FY twenty four uh, as well remained the same. Uh, a total of two hundred seventy seven million dollars nine hundred thirty six and nine hundred thirty eight dollars. And Madam Chair, Supervisor yeah. English, Supervisor Crosby, um, I, I I know we popped up the slide for the truth in taxation, but I think it's interesting before we get and open up that hearing, I think that's what the comments were related to was the truth in taxation. The, the rate, uh, we're not asking for an increase of 2.6747. We're keeping the rate flat as what was what, what previously. So I just wanted to explain that. Um, there is a truth in taxation hearing. That's the next agenda item. Uh, we built the budget around keeping that flat tax rate of 2.6747. However, as I mentioned before, the valuations of the property have increased. So even though we kept it flat, that would increase the levy, and that's why we have the truth in taxations. And I just want to say thank you for coming. Uh, but I did want to clarify th just that one comment because the, the statement was made that would increase it uh, 2.6747. And I think I've stated before, even if I proposed an increase of 2.6747, there would be a lot of people angry at me. So the, 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 rate, the rate is flat. And I, and I apologize, ma'am. I, I will talk to you after the meeting. Unfortunately, we can't banter back and forth. Um, but I, yes. All right. So we do have a motion and a second on that. Okay, we have a motion and a second on the floor. All those in favor. Is there any more comments from the board? Yes. Uh, I, I believe that uh, auto loan defaults are going up. And I know inflation is going up. I wanted to mention that I sincerely appreciate all the work Mr. Frisbee and his associates have done on the budget. Thank you. Okay. We have no more comments. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nay. The chair votes aye and the motion carries two to one. Okay. Now we have the truth and taxation hearing, which we've had a lot of discussion about already. I'm going to open it for anyone else who would like to speak on a truth and taxation hearing. And we'll open it for public comments. And hearing none, I'll close that hearing. There is no motion on that. Um, just if I could just repeat, the valuations, people's homes are worth more right now than they were two years ago, three years ago, um, than they were one year ago. And that has triggered an increase in your taxes, but not an increase in the rate. So we will have to talk about that more, but we didn't increase your tax rate. Um, your your values in, increased, and that's a whole other department. <laughs> and, and the so we can, and also that's market economics. So we... I just wanted to bring that up. That's that's what's happening here. It did it did yield a little bit more money to the county, but we managed to keep our budget under the amount of money that we had, and I appreciate that. Madam um, Chair, I have a comment. Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. It, it, when you're talking about your home valuation going up, if you have a 2,600 square foot house, two car garage. It keeps the rain off at 2,600 square feet and your two cars. And so the actual value of that house does not change based on what it may sell for or not. It stays the same value of the house. So what you really have is a devaluation of the currency. That's a comment <laughs> and, and a good comment. Okay, so Mr. Frisbee, you do have a presentation on this as well? No. It's, 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 
truth and this is just a truth and taxation uh, slide. Yep. slide. And it's basically what I said, but I didn't say it in technical jargon. Okay, Would you like to do the technical jargon? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Madam Chair, members of the board, uh, the following is the truth in taxation for property valuations that increased by 51.3 million, totaling 1.074 uh, billion in net assessed valuations. The increase is attributed to new construction of at 2.2% and inflation at 26 a flat rate of 2.6747 uh, uh, will result in a levy of $28,741.67. Okay. And then we have held the truth and taxation hearing. Um, and what Mr. Crosby said is perfectly right. We attributed 2.6% to inflation, which is what you were talking about. Which, Although the which inflation could, rate is much higher. But that's... So we actually held it lower here than in some places. All right. Summary. We have approved the 2025 budget already, or 2024 budget already. So we are finished, I believe. I think we just got to close the, the truth and taxation hearing and then. Okay. I'm going to close the truth and taxation hearing. We all talked about it oh, enough. Yeah. Okay. Next so the next meeting is. July 25th at 10 a.m. in the Board of Supervisors hearing room for a regular board meeting, and we will adjourn this meeting. Thank you.